Hello and welcome to GoGeeko.com. In this video, you will learn how simple it is to create and test a mapping within IDQ Developer Tool. We will also show you how to create a relational connection within IDQ. So what we would be doing in this video? Let's say we have a source filed customer and we want that data to be loaded into an Oracle database table. So basically that's what we would be doing. We will also standardize any first name, last name to camel case or init cap. We will also do substring of zip field to only first five characters. We will also filter out any null values for the column customer from the source file. So finally, we would be loading a cleaner data into our target Oracle database table. So let's go ahead and start creating our first mapping. Let's open up the IDQ tool. Let's say I will be creating this mapping in this customer project or the folder. So in order to create your mapping, first thing you need is your source and target definition. So let's get that first. Right click, new, data object. In IDQ, there is a term called DO or PDO which simply means data object or physical data object respectively. Data object or physical data object is nothing but your source or target definition. Now your source or target definition can either be of any type. It can be flat file, relational database, XML. It can be any different type. So let's get our data object. My source is a flat file. So let me first get the data object for my source. Browse to the folder where your source file is located. In this case, my source file is this. Open. Next. This will align the fields properly. By default, it assumes that your delimiter is a comma separated file. So you can see that it's checked comma. If your file is pipe delimited or any other delimiter, you can give that here like this. For now, I will leave it as comma separated file and I will import the field names from the first row. So I will check this option. Hit next and this all seems to be fine for my file column names. So I'll hit finish. So this is something about your file. For now, you can simply close that. Now let's get the physical data object for our target, which in this case is an Oracle table. So either you can do right click new physical data object or even on the project folder, you can simply do new and data object. It's one and the same thing. So my target is relational. Click here, browse. I only have these connections but my target table is somewhere else. My target table is somewhere here and it's called customer. If I right click and run it, there is no data in it. So let's go ahead and get this customer table definition into my IDQ. Because that connection does not exist, I need to create that Oracle connection. For that, click on more. Once you are here, click on database, Oracle, and hit add. I wanted to name my connection as customer underscore DB just to be more descriptive. Hit next. In this case, my username is, I can simply get it from here and give this information as well. So wherever your Oracle database is hosted, give that host name here. In this case, it's localhost for me. And the port is 1522 for me. Usually the Oracle default port is 1521. Give ORCL here as well. And you can test your connection. It says successful. Hit OK and finish. You can actually see your connection right here. Customer underscore DB. Now say 
customer db here okay here it says what is your resource within this connection resource is nothing but an object or the table or a view or a synonym so go to tables click on customers hit ok so it will fetch your table and hit finish so your target table came here you can check some of the fields and whether the fields are nullable or not or whether there is any field which is a primary key you can always change this definition if you want but you need to make sure that you will change the same definition in the target oracle table as well so let's hit close here now let's go ahead and create a mapping again everything starts with a right click here so right click new now what do we want to create here a mapping not a data object this time this time it's going to be a mapping name your mapping in a meaningful way so i have named it as m underscore customer load which means i'm going to load the customer data always name your mappings your sessions in a descriptive or meaningful way I will hide this transformation palette that's my personal choice so this is my mapping but there is nothing here so what I want here is I want physical data objects to go here drag and drop it here and this is my source file and this is a read or this is my source now what is my target my target is in customer DB or the Oracle table so again drag and drop it in the middle pane and this time it's not a read it's a write I'm going to write on that which is nothing but my target here is my target let's get a transformation in this mapping so right click add transformation and you can start typing EX which will give you expression here hit OK click here and you can do control A it will select all the columns and you can simply drag and drop all these quick controls like control C control V control a really speeds up the development process within IDQ so let's go into the expression and standardize our first name last name and also substring the zip code here let's click on expression and you go to properties here you go to ports here so my last name you can simply copy paste from here and you can put an O in front just to say that this is an output port and when it's output you uncheck the input and you will see that the O underscore last name will go under output only columns now you go to expression and you type in it cap to standardize last name to be camel case I will do the same for the first name as well if I want I can make last name and first name as the only input columns actually let's do that so I will uncheck output columns here and you will see that last name and first name goes into the input only column section now let's do the substring of zip again copy paste put O here just to say that this is an output port even though within IDQ I don't have to because they are explicitly under the output or the input section or the variable section but I will leave it as it is so I will make this zip as only the input port and now let's go and write our substring so the way substring works is you want to do only take the part of a string which is zip in this case so let's open my source file right here so what i really want is i only want the first five characters from my zip so if you see for some zips i have at the end four digits as well like this one like this one and this one but in my target table i only want first five characters i don't care about my last four characters here so how you want to do that so you would want to do in a way that you will parse your zip and you will say give me only those characters which starts from one and ends at number five so everything between one and five including one and five so validate it okay and simply save it now let's add another transformation 
you can simply right click add transformation and you will see all the transformation they're not many and you can figure out which one you want in this case i want filter now again drag and drop the columns which you want for the purpose of this tutorial let's say i don't want all the columns to go into my target table so let's just get a few columns in here by the way you can also create the connections from here so if you click on that it's the same screen so you will say configure connection and i'm sure you will figure it out once you hit that it's very intuitive so now add the filter condition again go to properties filter and give your condition that is null customer id so give your condition for those records which you only want so this tells is null customer id it means it will pass all those records where customer id is null but because we want all those rows where customer id is not null i will put a not in front so this is the syntax where you don't want something like is null you can validate from this button it is valid and now you can connect your appropriate port and again you can do a control s to save it or you can actually save it from here now let's data preview because idq makes the development process fast you can right away data preview it run data viewer and see whether the logic you have applied is working or not in this case i'm getting this error so let's see how to fix that to fix that double click your source go to read here and click on the right side here go to runtime and here you need to tell your target directory this is my correct target directory here now the other thing what you need to do is the reverse or the cross of this so read here now what you need to do is write and click on the input here so input and the right again you will see runtime and you need to give your output directory here this is bit confusing but it is actually straightforward if you just remember these steps so save it now let's go back and run our data viewer actually if you see the error the error is little different error says the file is being used because i have opened up the file so let me close this file but the good thing is i have shown you how to give the correct file path and you will definitely need that learning as you will develop some mappings on your own so let's run the data viewer first on our source to see whether we are even reading the data or not so as you can see i'm reading the data from my source and you can see how my casing here is completely different and you can see my zip codes some are five characters and some are nine characters now let's run my data viewer on my expression and see whether the logic we have applied is working or not run data viewer and you can see that my first name and last name correctly cased now they are all in it cap and also my zip code is of correct length you might be wondering why this is four characters this is four characters because it's coming as four characters from my source file we can quickly check that so if you see these are just four characters so if you look at this expression it's still giving me null which according to my requirement i don't want so let's see if our filter logic is working or not and it is indeed so we're not getting any data where customer id column is null now let's connect all the columns which i did not previously i have connected the columns which i really want just for this mapping save and now run the mapping again right click and run your mapping you can see the log right here go to log and let's see what happened so here it shows requested eight rows requested eight rows and the load summary is eight rows applied now let's check in my target table and the required data has been loaded into my target table you can see customer id is not null and my first name and last name looks really good 
and even my zip code looks good one more thing i wanted to show you is if you go to your target here properties advanced you can check your truncate target option here if you want your data to be truncated every time you're loading this target table and also you can write pre and post sql commands for your target table this completes this particular video and in our next tutorial we would be covering more idq transformation thanks for watching this video and do check out our website goldgeekcode.com for more easy to learn videos bye now